Hey guys, on today's retro spot, we're going to be having a look at Visionaries Knights of the Magical Light, Darkling Lords, Sindar. Um, Sindar is, like I mentioned, from the Darkling Lords. In the cartoon, he was voiced by a voice actor. I don't know if anybody maybe remembers him. His name's Peter Cullen. Um, I think he did some small voice in some 80s cartoon. I think his name was maybe Optimus Prime. I don't know. I don't know if anyone remembers that character Optimus Prime, but uh, Peter Cullen also did the voice of Sindar. Um, he was the, I guess, the muscle of the Darkling Lords. Uh, the formula, of course, for any... Well, maybe I'll keep him up closer. The formula, of course, for any muscle uh, member of a team is usually he's dim-witted and Sindar of course, Lee, of course was quite dim-witted um, not very bright he was basically uh, he was basically I guess a bumbling idiot if I could say that a bumbling idiot um, his figure shares all the same articulation as Dark as Dark Storm so he's got and a G.I. Joe's of course so he's got the swivel in his arm and joint in his elbow He's got uh, a, a joint, like a ball joint in his shoulders, and then his head can rotate. He's got the elastic uh, in the torso and waist area. And he's got articulation in the legs, the knees. So not bad considering it's from the 80s. Um, his totem was that of a gorilla. And similar to Darkstorm, this can actually come out. Um, I probably won't show you that because, you know, I'll... I don't want to do that for every single review, but his totem was a gorilla. Um, what I failed to mention with the other visionary reviews and, and of Darkstorm was that it, the totems, when they came out uh, of the of the chess here, um, the the character would kind of um, almost like uh, um, I don't know, just kind of disintegrate or disappear, and then they would become that animal. Uh, the Darkling Lords would be green in color. When they turned into the animals, the spectral knights would become blue, like a like a like a light light blue. When they became their animals, um, so yeah, he was uh, he was a gorilla. Um, if I just reach down here, he also wore a helmet in the cartoon series. Um, I think out of all the figures or all the characters in the cartoon, he. Sindar had my favorite helmet. I just love the way it looked on him. Of course, it's a little wider on this figure, but imagine it was a little, it would have been a little more slender than that. Um, his weapon, if I put this guy down here, his weapon was a uh, mace, I guess if you want to call it, like a, like a clubbing mace. Um, and there is his power staff. This one has a little more wear to it, unfortunately, than the others. Uh, as you can see, the reason why the uh, Visionary toys didn't do all that well in the stores and were pulled eventually was just because of the cost of making holograms back in the day was didn't justify you know buying a figure for about five dollars or whatever it was. Um, so there we have the dragon, and can you see it? I think you can catch that on camera. His uh, his summon was that of destruction. I think you can see that it was of destruction, and uh, it was this giant, uh, giant almost looked like a cat. I think a cross between like a, it was like a human cat. This huge creature, and it basically just went in and it would just tear away buildings and and uh, break through walls, and uh, it basically just. He was, you know, Sindar was the only one that could control it kind of thing. Um, his spell, and I think I can remember all these without looking at the file card, but his spell was, uh, um, By nature's hand, by craft, by art, what once was one now fly apart. And then, of course, the spell, the summon, would come out of the staff and then wreak havoc. Um, it would vary sometimes in the cartoon, sometimes destruction the creature could last for a couple of minutes sometimes it only lasts for a couple of seconds um, so there was continuity errors there but there's his power staff um, I also have his file card if I just quickly read it off Sindar he's a 
Colossus of Obliteration, smashing through any and all spectral night blockades. His mystical personality, the gorilla, a grotesquely muscular creature, signifying his almost unstoppable destructive fury. And then his magical totem, power staff. Sindar calls upon his power of destruction to cause earthquakes which split the earth and swallow up enemy strongholds. Um, it doesn't really mention that the creature of what the creature is, but there's kind of a picture of it. Kind of looks like if you remember the '80s, he reminds me of a ghoulie. Have you, you ever seen the movie Ghoulies? That's what he kind of looks like. He doesn't. He didn't look like that in the cartoon, but and then of course there's his summon, Darkling Lords at the bottom here. Um, there's some of the artwork, and then of course the packaging on the undersiding here was holographic, a little hologram sticker, and back in the day this would have been $4.99 on sale for $2.40. So there you have it. Overall, nice figure. Um, it's not necessarily a case of I would recommend it because, I mean, Stuff like this you want to get if you're a big fan of the 80s like I am, and I grew up in the 80s. But uh, there you have a retro spot on Visionaries, Knights of the Magical Light, Darkling Lords, Sindar. I'll see you guys next time.